Hey, AFL, here's an idea. Let's award some silverware to the team that finishes top of the ladder. Yes, that's what I'm going to be talking about today on this video. I'm Kevin and welcome back to the channel. And today on the Tuesday Talk, I will be talking about what kind of award the AFL minor premiers should get. Look, the minor premier is never going to be regarded as highly as the premier in any given year. And, well, that's how it is in Australia. You win the premiership, you win the main prize based on winning a, um, a knockout a decider. Um, but I do feel that to finish on top is a massive achievement in a year. And it's actually probably harder to finish on top than it is to win a grand final. And that's why I feel that even if it's not as important as the Premiership Cup, the minor premier still should be awarded with some sort of silverware um, in recognition of their huge achievement on finishing top in the season. And that's why I think the minor premier should be awarded the minor premier's plate. Now, when deciding what kind of silverware uh, the top team should get, I kind of looked um, to inspiration for other sports in the uh, NRL, uh, which is the AFL's main competitor. They have um, a trophy uh, for the team that wins the grand final, just like the AFL. But what they do have, which the AFL doesn't have, is that they also have a shield for the team that finishes on top of the NRL ladder. It's like this wooden shield and it has like um, some sort of, um, has a lot of badges on it. Uh, and I think it, they're like, I think the premier of, the minor premier of that year, um, a badge gets added to that shield and they get to keep the shield. I'm not exactly sure how it is, but um, it, it's basically um, a piece of wood with a lot of badges on it. Um, and then you've got the soccer, the A-League. Both of them are actually round trophies. They don't actually have a cup. What they do have is a Premier's plate, which is, well, essentially a, a plate, essentially. Uh, that's the team that finishes on top. They get a plate. As for the champions, they do get some sort of trophy, but it's a toilet seat looking thing. Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't introduce that into the AFL, but I do reckon... What the AFL should do is that they should have a sort of plate or shield uh, type trophy. Uh, personally, I like the plate idea, the minor premier's plate. And basically a round dish, um, it's up on the um, screen there, but basically a round dish with um, text embroidered, uh, embroidered in it saying minor premier's 2020 in the team. Um, yeah, that, that's uh, how I think that's what I think the minor premier should be awarded with. Now, when should the minor premiers be awarded with the minor premiers play? Well, if the minor premiers secure top spot after a game and they don't have to rely on any results after their last game, then they would be awarded with the play immediately after that game. Hopefully in front of their home fans, but if not, then just at the ground they're on. I guess if they wrap it up with several rounds to go, then instead of the game, they wrap up top spot. If they've got a home game coming up, then I guess you they get it awarded at their last game in front of their home fans. But really, you don't know when the minor premier is going to secure that top spot, so you do you kind of you're kind of limited to when they can be awarded. So I guess if it's with several rounds to go at the end of their final home game. If it's in the last round or the second last round and they've got no games remaining, then immediately after they've wrapped it up. Here's the issue though. What if they finish on, um, what if they finish on top, but they only finish on top after their another team directly below them loses? So like they would have otherwise finished on top if they had won, but they lost. So basically the team that had played earlier and they didn't actually get the plate awarded to them at the time because it only been confirmed after. Um, yeah, that is a little bit of a weird case. I guess maybe before their first final or I guess maybe what the AFL can do is fixture it in a way that uh, the, team, the, the teams that are fighting for that minor premiership, they play at the same time so that 
they know what the results are by the time the game finishes, and then it gets awarded there. I um I don't know. But then even then, in that case, what if they're in two different states? Then do they have to have do they have to make two different plates and just have them ready to be delivered at both grounds? In that case, that's a little bit of a difficulty. I don't know in that one, but. Um, I feel like it should be awarded at the ground in front of their home fans. I guess maybe at latest, uh, in worst case comes to worst, bef directly before their first final. So in front of their home fans before the first final. That's probably the latest they could have it awarded. So yeah, that's my minor premiers play idea, just to give some recognition to the minor premiers, because really... No minor premier has actually won, gone on to win the premiership since 2013. That was Hawthorne. The last seven minor premiers have failed to win the grand final. And I feel it's a bit unfair for those sides, given that they had dominated for pretty much the entire year, uh, to just walk out of the season empty-handed just because they fall in the final games of um, the season. So... Yeah, I feel like they should at least be awarded something. I know it's not going to be regarded as highly as the Premiers, but it's at least something that they could take and put in their trophy cabinet and just look on, and it's a reminder of how dominant they were that year. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. Please like, please subscribe, please comment what you think of the video down below and what's your opinion about, what, about the topic I said today, whether the minor Premier should get a trophy. Um, check out some of my other videos and I'll see you next Tuesday. Goodbye.